friends, and welcome to the weekend video of me, Justin the Red Island Shaver. So glad to have you in the den with me for another shave, and uh, thank you for spending some of the time on your weekend uh, with me. So, gonna get right into it. Noble Otter Barbar. Very nice barbershop scent. Um, this was actually uh, gifted to me from Chris and Mary at Highland Springs. So, thank you very much, guys. I got this one a while ago, and I uh, forgot I had it in the den. You know you have a problem when you have um, soaps that you forgot you had, and you uh, discover them. That's that's a problem. Anyway, I, I found it and um, <laughs> the other day, and I was like, oh man, i got to get this on video, because I've never used Noble Otter on the channel, and um, I've heard good things. And uh, this one smells great. Mm, 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 mm. Nice uh, write-up in the description below. I uh, ripped that from the uh, top of the chain, where there's also going to be a link to purchase the soap. So that's, this is the, that's the write-up that was provided by Noble Otter. I'm sure Carmine, the top of the chain, got it off of their website. So we're going to use the uh, Spiffo Jackson today for the BBS.Live Badger Week. Hopefully everybody caught that show last night. It was a great live. And... Uh, so yeah, 26 millimeter high mountain white badger. And let's do this. Uh, very nice scent notes on this. A very nice classic barber shop. Um, it is uh, lemon, rosemary, basil, oak moss, and patchouli. And I like it. I like it. It's uh, herbaceous. Getting some of those herbs, getting the green notes from the uh, oak moss. A little bit of citrus in there to kind of brighten everything up. Uh, a little bit of earthiness from the patchouli. I, I do detect a powdery note. I'm not sure uh, what provides the powder in this. Maybe the musk, I guess. But um, yeah, I'm liking it. It's uh, I'm liking the scent. It's a tallow soap. And it's uh, loading in the brush nicely. I would say that's probably a good load. Looks like lots of uh, good sudsy stuff on the brush. Like I said, first use with this soap, but I find a lot of the bases do act the same. And uh, nine times out of ten, when you get them looking like that in the knot, um, you're off to a uh, you're off to a good start. And we'll just get some of that proto lather out of the tub. A lot of proto lather in the tub, as you guys know. I'm a tub loader. And yeah, so we'll. Uh, We'll set this down and we'll get right into it. Also using distilled water, uh, as usual, newer people to the channel may not know that. Um, older people may remember or forget. I do all these shaves with distilled water. We have uh, pretty hard water here on the Red Island, so to give every soap a fair shake and to get the utmost performance out of every soap, I like to use distilled water. I, I do find it does make a difference. Um, I find it just does add a, layer, a little bit of slickness to everything. And I know most soaps are formulated to be used with hot, with hard water, but soft water is always going to perform better. And that way I can keep everything equal across the board, because then uh, the, other, uh, the other way to be fair would be to make sure I do everything with hard water. And, yeah, I just like the soft water better. I get a big, you know, four liter thing of uh, distilled water lasts me for a couple months not a big deal very nice face feel on this soap cracking in at about a nice if I had to gauge it about at a five yeah I'd say just about a dead even five on the old uh, sniff a meter it's not uh, it's not blowing me away but it is not super weak either I am detecting like a very, uh, to me I'm getting a very spicy powdery barbershop. Uh, I haven't smelled a barbershop like this actually and uh, I really like it. I, uh, I like it a lot. It does, it does smell like that, like the story that you hopefully have already read in the description below. It kind of uh, sums up going into an old school barbershop as a kid and uh, Picking up all those scents in the barbershop. It's that's what it smells like to me. I'm digging it. So hopefully everybody's having a great weekend. It's going pretty good here. 
At least Friday's going good because I recorded this on Friday, but I'm sure the weekend is going to be fine. Uh, all my weekends are basically the same. Uh, sit at home, watch YouTube, chill, chill out, <laughs> and uh, that's about it. So uh, that's what's going on on my weekend. Uh, my wife works every weekend, uh, every second weekend, which this would be, I guess, the second weekend. She uh, she works the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and she works all evenings. Her job is all evenings, but this is what what we call her big week. So, yeah, uh, she works every evening this weekend, and then the next weekend she's off on on uh, Thursday, Friday, and then she's off the Monday, Tuesday. So she gets a bit of a break, but. But yeah, I'll be batching it with the kids all weekend long, all evening. So, yeah, I just chill out, drink coffee, watch a bit of TV, watch more YouTube, and you know, play some guitar. Get the old, uh, get the old Vox cooking, and playing some some tunes, and just enjoying enjoying life. And yeah, this lather has come together quite nicely. I think we're going to roll with that. Don't want to spend any more time boring you guys with my face lathering. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with the results on that. Came together nice, nice and quick. Same, same usual application of water I would usually do for any other soap. So that's good. Nothing new to... Nothing new to learn, no new techniques to learn with loading it. Like, you know, you get a, you know, only lather with your right hand while you stand on your, on your left foot and hop around in a circle or whatever. No, there's none of that. Just nice, easy lather. All right, so for my man, Rui, at Lathering with Rui, he just joined the Injector Club. So glad to have you part of the Injector Club. So I'm going to bring this bad boy out. If I could stop shaking, I need more coffee. Get that to focus. I don't think putting my big hand in the way is going to do anything, but this is the Schick Goat 500, according to my man DK. The Golden 500. This is a J3 Schick Hydro Magic, Eversharp Hydro Magic. Beautiful razor. Have a. Uh, now this is going to be the sixth use on a box standard made in China, yellow box, Schick injector blade. So we'll see how this goes because this is still part of my uh, longevity test. Oh, we got a bloop. We got a big old bloop. Because the soap is at the, the right uh, level of hydration. So yeah, blade longevity test. See how many shaves I can get on an injector blade. If this is any uh, indication so far of how the shave is going to go. Looks like six shaves is going to be fine. Uh, I know, I think the average for injector blades is probably somewhere between... Uh, I would say 7 to 10 probably from what I've seen from most people. Maybe a bit more. Maybe a bit less. I guess it depends on your beard and your technique. Um, the two days of growth here. The standard. First pass was very, very nice. Soap is nice and slick. Let's check that residual slickness. Residual slickness is very nice. My skin feels very, very slick. All right, let's get uh, suds up for pass number two. Blade felt great on that first pass. I really, really am loving the injectors. Um, yeah, if you don't have one yet, you you need to get one. I guess is all I could say. Um, I think I really do think. Um, uh, I think I gotta give the edge to the injectors over the double edge razor blades as much as I love I love my DE razors and I'm never going to give them up um, and I'm still going to use them and I'm going to use the hell out of them but 
I mean, God, I, I can almost see me using this as the daily driver and using the the uh, the DEs as something different. There's just... There's just something about the way that this rigid blade works with my growth, that works really, really well. And I really, really like it. Just cuts so effortlessly. And the same goes like with Shavettes too. Like uh, my focus is a really good Shavette with the half DE blade, but if I switch over to the feather with the more rigid AC blade, it's uh, it's like night and day. So I just I think my skin just really does prefer. These are more rigid blades. Super easy to find the angle on this too. Like, yeah, very, very, very happy with this purchase. I mean, it cost me a few bucks, but you know, they're hard to find. Um, the Golden 500s are at least. I've seen a few J4s, so if you guys can't find a Golden 500 and you're looking for one, and you're willing to compromise a bit, like I wasn't, <laughs> I, I knew I wanted the Golden 500, but if you're willing to compromise a bit on that, if you can find a J4, um, Schick Ever Sharp Hydro Magic, that's exactly what you're looking for. Those are the, the key search words, so J4, Ever Sharp Hydro Magic, uh, it's the exact same razor as this, only um, only it's nickel plated. Other than that, it's the exact same razor. So, uh, so if you're if you're searching for one of these and you can't find one, but you can find the J4, uh, it's definitely worth picking up because you're going to get the exact same shave. Do a bit of the across the grain. Very nice. Soap is performing great, lots of slickness. Scent is uh, great. Thoroughly enjoying this shave. Check some trouble spots here. Yeah, right here. Always oh, right here. Always have to do a bunch of buffing right in here. If you're going for that baby butt smooth though, you gotta you gotta get it. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do there. Alright, get the other side. Does anybody have any exciting plans for the weekend? Some nice shaves planned. Maybe some some outings. What's everybody got going on? Oh, very nice. These last little areas here. Just sussing them out here, just feeling for them. Beautiful. That will do. That will do. And then all I do to take care of this, this is the Hydro Magic, so. I can do it right now. It's got that little lever on it, so you just, which is a really cool feature of these, you pop that lever up and it opens the head a bit and it puts a pin into the blade. So the blade doesn't fall out of the razor and you can get in there and really, really rinse out that head. 
I'll blow on to get some of that water out because I mean you can't take the blade out and then just very gently because this is a vintage razor just make sure everything is kind of lined up and not binding and then just close that lever down blade still in its position and then I will dry this off very gingerly with um, tissue and then I will uh, leave it out to dry before it goes back in the case and before it goes back in the case it gets a final cleanup with some fresh tissue paper and just kind of buff it and keep that gold looking uh, looking nice. DK did a really nice job of polishing it up so I'm doing my part to uh, try and keep it nice and shiny. And that was a great shave so uh, yep uh, six shaves on a Schick blade not a problem for me. We've got a bit of irritation over here, but I mean, that's that's on me just trying to go for that BBS, so it is what it is. So I'm expecting a little bit of a tingle with the Pinot Clubman. This shares a lot of the same scent notes as the soap, so I figured it was the, the perfect foil, plus, you know, going with that classic old school barbershop vibe. This uh, splash brings it in spades. Yeah, a little bit of a burn, nothing too serious. Mm. Oh, I love the scent on this Clubman Pinot. Uh, put more of that on. You can never have too much Clubman as far as I'm concerned. It actually does leave my skin feeling uh, nice afterwards too. Yeah, there we go. All right, well, that is the shave, so thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate each and every one of you taking the time out of your day to stop by and uh, and watch and leave a comment and say hello. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, helps the channel grow, helps our wet shaving community grow as well. Uh, the best community out there as far as I'm concerned. So that's it for me for this one. So until next time, my friends, be safe, be kind to one another. Most importantly, have a great day and even better shave. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace and I love you.